Hello Sagittariuses, welcome to my reading. This is Hummingbird Tarot and I'll be doing a little forecast for the month of December, which is your birthdays. Happy birthday to all the Sagittariuses out there reading, uh, watching my video. Um, this is just a little forecast to see what's up for your month. Okay, uh, first of all I'm going to start with a, um, a wonderful archetype deck. Um, I just love the look of them. And I just, the messages are really wonderful. So I'm going to shuffle those for you here. Oh, one fell right out before I could even start. And I got the kiss. Now, this kiss is a representative of a really intense loving relationship, perhaps coming into your life for the month of December. Um, or if you aren't interested in love or a new relationship and you are currently in a relationship, uh, this could signify just you guys having more intimate time together in your current partnership. But um, for the singles out there, this is uh, showing that maybe somebody that you had your eye on, um, is, it's going to become a deeper relationship during this month. Um, just a very passionate, the kiss is a very passionate an electric sort of energy. So what a wonderful uh, way to start your reading is with the kiss. True intimacy is around the corner for you. Um, and that is a beautiful thing. Whether it be a new relationship, a current relationship that you're in, that, that connection is really going to be ignited. Next I'm going to pull some some chakra oracle cards. Spirit, what do you have for our Sagittariuses out there today? Some advice, some things they need to focus on, what chakras do they need to work with during the season to bring in that new love, that kiss, that electric, passionate connection. Okay, two cards fell out for you. We've got the inner child, which is really a card of, you know, working on that inner child, working on that, that person that you were, tapping into that joy and purity of who you are, your authentic self. Um, if there were any past traumas in your childhood, it's a good time to focus on these and and work with those energies to help you come into a better understanding of yourself and through that understanding of yourself coming into love because the inner child is the heart chakra. So of course when we love ourselves and focus on making ourselves better people, we bring in others that see us for our true authentic self and we shine that light of who we are and how we love ourselves onto others. So what a beautiful card. Um, I love this reading. We've gotten the number 17, which is also an 8. So if that number has any relevance for you, then I would look into that further. Also, we have clarity. So when we are clear of mind, um, when we work on that inner child work, this is the third eye chakra. Um, using our intuition, we can find ourselves in places that you know we've wanted to be in our our third eye is like i said intuition and working in that intuitive part of ourselves um, and we can find that clarity so with this inner child i'm definitely seeing you know that you have a little bit of inner child work to do but through that clarity of mind um, working on that intuition through meditation, um, working on that inner child, working on self-love, that this intimacy is going to become uh, something that's going to be real in your life and from an authentic place, something that's going to be a lasting, um, exciting love. Because with love of yourself and clarity of mind, we will attract the best matches for our lives. And if it's with a partner that we already are 
having a relationship with, um, working on these things, working on our inner child, things that trigger us um, from our past or even from that present relationship. Um, if we've gained clarity of mind and, and use our intuition to help us go forward into um, healing that inner child, then you're going to see that work coming into um, fruition in your relationships around you, their most intimate relationships around you. Next, I'm going to pull some Angel Wisdom Tarot for you guys. Spirit, please guide Sagittarius in their next steps with love with inner love, self-love, intuition, and clarity. Ah, yes. And the first card we have here is the Four of Swords, which is a card of meditation, like I was saying, to gain that clarity of mind, to work on that shadow um, inner child work. We need to quiet ourselves down and use meditation as a tool to get us to those places that um, we need to go for healing. Um, meditation can be anything. It doesn't mean you have to sit and be quiet, although that's a great way to do it. Focusing on your breath and letting those um, thoughts that run around in our minds quiet themselves. Um, going out in nature and just really appreciating everything around you in nature. Trees, the wind, birds. Um, that's a great way to meditate. Whatever is good for you. One of my best uh, ways to meditate is through uh, not vigorous yoga, but a nice gentle yoga, stretching. Uh, I, I just really focus on my breath and my body and how they all work together in unison. Um, so this is really a great card for for working on these chakras, the heart chakra and the... Um, third eye chakra, which is the number seven or 25. If those numbers are, you know, relevant to you and something to pay attention to. Also like getting more sleep, you know, not letting yourself get mentally exhausted. And the ne next cup we have, uh, the next card we have cup is the Knight of cups. Uh, this is a exuberant, fresh energy, uh, romantic energy. Flirtatious, introspective. Um, the the Knight of Cups though can be fickle. Uh, he they can, he can sweep you off your feet. A sudden love affair, but also it can have a lack of balance in the relationship. So that's where you would be working on your inner child, your self knowing, your self loves to not get swept off your feet too easily with this uh, wonderful hunky man on a white horse offering you his cup of love. Um, it also signifies like your love of art and poetry, everything romantic. So I'm just seeing a lot of love coming toward you for this December season. Spirit, what other cards can you pull for us, for our beautiful Sagittarius? I pulled the three of pentacles. Is this a three of pent No, the three of wands. The three of wands. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. Being paid well for your craft. Working well with others. An excellent reputation. So the three of pentacles is a wonderful card. It also shows that maybe your love and passion has something to do with your work, you know, having or finding something that you're really passionate for. Because also the Knight of Cups is about the love of art and poetry. So maybe there's something going on as well. If love is not is not resonating for you, maybe there's something that you're passionate about with your work or your projects, your creative projects. Another card I have is another three. So this is the Three of Swords. So it looks like there might have been some heartbreak in your life. Um, great sadness that you'll heal from within time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing, misunderstanding, and being there for those in need. 
So that three of cups, you know, I mean, that three of swords here is really saying that, you know, to help help get you where you want to be is just letting go of that pain that maybe someone hurt you, um, a difficult situation, losing something that was really close to your heart and you want to let go of those um, emotions and let the, the sun come back out into your heart because we have a love coming into your life either through work or with another person. Um, letting go of that those hurts from the past will really help you connect with this person because I see a lot of passion. I see, um, you know, with the inner child work that you should do and the clarity, using your intuition, you're going to move forward and be happy. So don't drag this three of hearts into your new relationship if this is what's happening for you. And I also got the the Ace of Cups as well, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship, or a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities, which again, it goes into the Clarity card, or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. That is so beautiful. So that there's definitely something new coming into your life. So I'm seeing maybe a new relationship. If you're not already in a relationship, I see this strongly for our Sagittarius's. Happy birthday. It sounds so beautiful. And then on top of it all, you have a ton of abundance coming to you. So for the Sagittarius's that are coming into a new um, creative endeavor, a new job, something that you really love to do, I'm seeing that it's really going to have strong financial security for you and your family, inheritance, a retirement peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on of knowledge. So just really positive, beautiful reading from spirit today. Um, a lot of love, new beginnings in love, letting go of past hurts, um, finding your clarity and, and working on that inner child. Maybe something in your your new creative endeavors is something that you've always wanted to do as a child, you know, like, you know how children are, they, they I want to be a fireman, or I want to be a dancer, and I want to have a, my own band, and, um, I want to be an artist, something like that, you know, you're, it's, something like that is budding in you, where you feel like you can finally do this, and it's so worth it because you're having abundance come to you in a major way with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles where this diligence and hard work and collaboration is bringing you into just a, a, a wonderful new avenue of income that, that you really love doing. It's not an arduous thing for you at all. I'm going to pull a few more oracle cards for our beautiful Sagittarius's. Do you have any more messages for our Sagittarius's today? Volcanoes, power. So you're coming into your own personal power. And, but volcanoes is also something that's volatile as well, right? And it's hot and, you know, it's explosive. You have one big explosion and then it just kind of, you know, recreates the world around it. So maybe with the three of swords that you, that you got there, you know, there was something that was really explosive in your life that kind of maybe blew things apart. That's why you're having these new beginnings. Maybe it was a relationship um, maybe uh, you got fired or quit your job to do these new endeavors, but you went through some difficult times I'm seeing, um, but you really, it, can't, it put you into your own personal power, into your authentic self. The things that you really wanted to do in life are, are coming to you quickly. It's this card. Spirit, do you have any other cards in this deck that you want to give us for our beautiful Sagittarius's. Oh, hold a lot. Too many.
many. Okay, I know that there's a message in here, another message in here for our Sagittarius's. Ah, there she is. So we have magic. So yes, there's magic within you that's dying to come out. And the number 43 and number 7 again. So we've got 7s here. Um, and with the intuition, we've got 7, 2, and 5 is 7 with the clarity. Magic. You have the magic. I also, this one came out. The soul, passion, your passion. As everything in this reading is very passionate and um, just a, a beautiful, like, new beginning with, with love, creativity, intuition, um, soul searching. Your, your dreams are coming into fruition. And uh, Spirit is really telling you that you're on the right path. Okay, I'm going to pull one last card for Sagittarius. It's our botanical inspirations, and this will kind of give you, I know that we're doing for December, but let's see if there is more of a timing with things that will take a little bit longer to come in, because not, not always do things happen for us in one month, you know, but it's just definitely, it's going to be a start of something new. If not, you're already on that path. So let's see when things will kind of either tie up or come to you in the long term. Any messages here for Sagittarius spirit? Any, any messages from botanical inspirations? It might not be timing. Oh, yes. We have spring here with the magnolia nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. The, no no the nobility lies in being superior to your former self, Ernest Hemingway. Um, that is a really beautiful message. It's just like remain humble. Uh, you know, don't judge others for their, where they are on their path. Uh, your path is amazing and you're really moving into your your higher self your you know you know what you love you know maybe you already have been doing that inner child work that has led you to this clarity um because i i'm seeing these new beginnings here for you um and just because you're more advanced or maybe in a better place than a lot of people in your life don't judge the other people for where they're at they're on their own journey and um we got to just let them have, you know, their space to, to find their passions, to find their path, their journey, you know, to that, to their better selves. So just be amazed and wondrous about where you are now and where you have come from. Um, I'm going to read the inspirational quote with that comes with this because they're just so pretty and beautiful and to me, they have so much meaning. Magnolia. Nobility is not just something you are born to or a quality to wish for. It is an evolving process requiring lifelong commitment to develop self-esteem, commit estimable acts to build good character, act nobly of purpose. Uh, that's a beautiful reading. Thank you so much. Um, that's all I'm seeing from spirit for you right now. Have a wonderful month of December, your birthday month. I'm so happy to be able to read for you today. If you like my reading, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be seeing you soon. Have a wonderful month and new year. Bye-bye.